Okay, so most people have never actually met a true believer. Now, sure, we've read stories about believers, we know that true believers exist, but we hardly ever see them. Well, Be Holy is a podcast that shines light on the behaviors, the mindset, and the duties of a believer so that we can recognize God's children even when they don't look like God's children. Yeah, it's a bit of a process. Each lesson is given by our own Pastor Nard. Your sins have been forgiven. All you have to do is believe it, and God will help you through your journey. You've traveled long enough without Him. Today on Be Holy, we're talking about entering God's rest. Listen, we're living in a day where we're trying to get rest from everything. We're trying to get a rest from work. We're trying to get a rest from these bills. We're trying to get a rest from our wives. We're trying to get a rest from our husband. We're trying to get a rest from the children. (laughs) <laughs> trying to be restful we listen we're trying to get rested is what we're trying to do but god says to enter into his rest he said enter into my rest and you will truly be satisfied and so we tend to go through life instead of doing what god says to do we do a version of what god says to do in our own lives for our own benefit as opposed to doing what he says you know, because since we don't, we always think we know more than God. We always think we know better, you know, and sometimes we're just not ready to do what God says, but we're trying to create and do what we want to do. And that's OK. That's all right. Listen, but sooner or later, you're going to have to get rested. You're going to have to enter into his rest and his rest is good rest. Somebody say good rest. <laughs> good rest, good rest, good rest. God's rest is the only rest that you will really ever need. God's rest is the not listen. His rest is the rest that will totally satisfy your soul. You know, like I said, we try to get sleep and we think that that's rest. You know, if we try to uh get rest from the economy, we try to Pay less in the store. Pay less at the gas station. We're trying to uh, do less work, thinking that this, that thinking that that's going to actually give us the rest that we're needing. But God told us to enter into His rest. His rest is the Holy Ghost. Enter into the Holy Ghost. Those of you who believe, enter into the Holy Ghost, because the Holy Ghost is only for those who believe. Even those who don't believe, they they should receive the Holy Ghost, but they won't receive the Holy Ghost until they believe. And so God has told us to enter into his rest. In other words, instead of us trying to get rest from actual work in this, in this uh, explanation or this sense here, he's telling us to take a break from sin take a break just like you take a break from going to work you take a break from going to school you take a break from washing the clothes you take a break you know to walk around the house you walk around the neighborhood you just take a break just to clear your mind you know i mean i do that you know so you're trying to do something else that's outside of your scope of work so that you can just get a break but god said to enter into his rest enter into his rest and that rest is us resting from sin take a break from sin take a break from sin that you know people say all oh, the sabbath this and the sabbath that we're supposed to be doing this on the sabbath that on the sabbath listen to me the sabbath is supposed to be every day not just one particular day in other words yeah, well, you know, Jesus, you know, the, the, the Bible was talking about uh, taking a break on the seventh day. Listen, there's a time for you to take a break. And the time is now. You're supposed to take a break from sin. I'm supposed to take a break from sin. That's the rest. And when you start believing, the Holy Ghost is available to you. Holy Ghost helps you get through life. Holy Ghost will help you get through this life right now. What you're going to talk to the psychologist about or the psychiatrist about, listen, you can go and talk to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will lead you. 
the Holy Ghost will lead you if you let him because the Holy Ghost knows the everything there is to know about God why because the Holy Ghost is God I was talking to, uh, on an, on another social media today you know we're the only religion where our God actually lives in us our God lives in us our God lives in us and that's the rest when you're taking a break from being a human being and doing what humans do and thinking like humans think and saying what humans say it's time to take a rest put it down stop doing it say goodbye to sin and say hello God help me that's what this whole thing is about you, you're thinking that or not maybe not you but a lot of people think that oh this Sunday or the Saturday is our Sabbath and we're supposed to not work on yeah that's good too that's good that's what the law was telling you but really the spirit of the law was telling you to take a break from sin stop doing just like you say I'm not going to work on Sundays I'm not going to work on Saturday declare the same thing since I'm a believer I'm not going to sin I'm not going to willfully sin I'm not going to practice sin if I sin it's because of a mistake I didn't I didn't know but me knowing knowing what I'm doing I am going to take a break from sin now most people think oh that's impossible you can't take a break from sin yes you can see how the Lord agree with me yes you can you can take a break from sin you can take a break from sin let's go to Hebrews chapter 4 Hebrews chapter 4 and verse number 1 says this God promised of entering his rest still stands his promise of entering to his rest it still stands even we're reading it in the Bible it still stands to this day so we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it you know hmm yeah but I'm a believer well, you still have to be filled so that you enter into the rest you got to take you have to take a break from sin and that break is forever verse number two for this good news that God has prepared this rest has been announced to us just as it was to them talking about the people in the desert just like we hear it they heard it God told them take a break from sin they had just come out of Egypt take a break from sin I know you learned how to sin in Egypt take a break from it the reason you come out of Egypt is so that you can worship God take a break from sin you came out of Egypt so that you can worship God take a break from sin and that's what we have to do today God brought you out of whatever you were in he forgave you of your sins so now you can take a break from it he forgave you of your sins now take a break from it for this good news that God has prepared this rest has been announced to us just as it was to them but it did them no good why because they didn't share the faith of those who listened to God so he told everybody but there was a group of people who actually listened to God and there was a group of people who didn't listen to God but he made the experience the whole entering to his rest he made it for everyone everybody can enter but if you don't share the same faith that those who believe God or listen to God you won't enter into that verse number three for only we who believe can enter his rest as for the others God said now this is what God said you know in my anger I took an oath they will never enter my place of rest even though this rest has been uh, been made ready since the beginning of the world you know these people who don't believe God will not enter into his rest that's what he said and he was angry about it verse number four we know it is ready because of the place in the scriptures where it mentions the seventh day on the seventh day God rested from all his work but in the other passage God said they will never enter my rest he said they'll never Lord don't, don't let me be a part of the never you know that's what we should pray Lord help us to not be a part of the never entering into your rest help us to always enter your rest Lord mm -hmm. 
They will never enter my place of rest. That's what he said. And you know, God don't lie. And so we should all, instead of assuming, oh, yes, I'm saved and I'm going to enter into you. Listen, just like me, I'll, I don't take that for granted. Anybody could just the way you got in is the same way you can get out. You just the way you started believing, you can start unbelieving. You know, that, that was their main point. Their unbelief is what caused them not to enter. Verse number six. So God's rest is there for people to enter. But those who first heard this good news failed to enter because they disobeyed God. Verse number seven. So God set another time for entering his rest. And that time is today. God announced this through David. Much later in the word already quoted today, when you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. Yeah, the same way he said some won't enter, he made it available. And so because those those first group of people, the first church in the desert, they didn't want to enter. He said it for another time. Man, so they were supposed to receive the Holy Ghost when the desert, the whole leaving of Egypt, the whole leaving of Egypt. We're going to go and worship God and we're going to do this. We're going to do that. That was the time when they were supposed to receive the Holy Ghost. That was the time they were supposed to enter into the rest. But God says, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll set up another time. And that time is today. That time is today. You should waste no more time doing what you want to do. You should actually, unless you're wanting to step away from sin, you should actually do what God is instructing all of us to do. Step away from sin. We don't have to stay in sin. He already made it to where our sins are forgiven. He already came down himself and took away our sins. He didn't tell somebody else to do it. He took it away. And because he took away our sins, he ensured that we could enter into his rest because anybody else could change their mind and fold back. And no, he came and did it himself. Listen, if you want something done right, if you want something done right, you better do it yourself. And that's what God did. He wanted us to enter into his rest. So he came and took away every hurdle that could stop us from entering to his rest. He took away our sins. He took away the, the penalty for those sins. That's why we don't go back to him. We stay away from sin because he already made it to where we don't have to participate in sin. So take a break from sin and enter into his rest and satisfy your soul. Well, how did you feel about today's lesson? Speak with us at beholy116 at gmail.com. Share Beholy with a friend, a colleague, or someone who needs it. Connect with us today at beholy116 at gmail.com. Your support of Beholy is greatly appreciated. Simply text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And if you're ever in Columbus, Ohio, give us a visit. Come visit us. Brought to you by the First Church of Christ Apostolic Way, a small church with a big heart.